I'm out with y'all, fam. We are back with another one, man. I love each and every one of you guys. If you're new to the family, thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe, smash the like button, press the notification bell. So every time I upload, you can be notified. You know how this platform is, man. A lot of you guys aren't getting notified of my videos, my live streams. Make sure that little bell is clicked on. So every time, you know, I go live, you can make sure you uh, tap in and just have a chance to come in and talk. Um, if you're new, like I said, I am an artist. Uh, Hidden Hills 1, Hidden Hills 2 is out. Hidden Hills 3 is in the works. Amazon, Spotify, Apple Music, all that good stuff. Links are always down below if you want to donate to me. If you want to check out my website, soulswithpurpose.com. Got some really dope hoodies, you know, t-shirts, all kinds of good stuff, man. I love y'all. As you can see in the title, Purposeless Spirituality. Purposeless Spirituality, man. Y'all got to turn me up for this one. You got to understand one thing and one thing only. If you are in your spiritual walk and you feel like you do not have a purpose, if you feel like you do not understand your purpose, this is exactly where the enemy wants you. You got to understand that spirituality is becoming obviously more and more of a thing. Everybody's spiritual now, right? But a lot of people are spiritual, spiritual without purpose or they're deceived and they feel like they have stepped into their purpose by doing witchcraft, by participating in things that are literally meaningless and purposeless. And this is something you're going to deal with as a chosen one, man. If you still don't know your purpose or your call, continue to seek the Lord's face. Continue to ask him. Knock, right? And he will answer you and he will tell you exactly what it is he wants you to do. And it's going to be unique. It's going to be custom made just for you. Don't let nobody tell you any different. A lot of people out here are deceived in deception with the new age, right? The, the chakras, the this, the that, and they think they're in their purpose and in their calling, but really they are living a purposeless, fruitless life. The number one thing that the enemy wants to do to anybody who wants to step into, you know, a spiritual walk with Christ, a relationship is to waste your time and distract you with the things that are deception, deceit. All of these things are deception and deceit. You know, all this stuff that's well accepted, right? Everybody's spiritual. But the minute you mention Jesus Christ, the minute you mention Yahweh, the minute you mention that you're a born again believer, but you're not religious, you're spiritual, you know, you'll you'll begin to understand, you know, who is who and what the devil's doing out here. A lot of people will get sent your way, chosen one, when you do step into purpose, when you do get that purpose placed on your life, you begin to walk in it. A lot of agents are going to get sent your way and they're living a purposeless, a fruitless spirituality walk, right? They're living a life that is completely fruitless and purposeless, but they think they're in their calling. This is a lot of new agers, man. And I got love for everybody, but I'm here to help you out so you can really answer a call that has been placed on each and every one of our lives who have been chosen and selected by God to do the will of him, right? So the number one thing that is going to happen is these people will get sent in and it's to simply distract you and waste your time because they're living a purposeless life. They're having to serve their demons every day and they don't even realize it. They're having to serve their crystals and their altars every single second of the day at times. And they think that this is their calling. It's to distract you. Okay. These people get sent in to distract you from stepping into God's true purpose, a true relationship with Christ, what it really looks like having full understanding and wisdom and knowledge on what you are here to do, what you are called to do. And these agents will get sent at you, man. And it's to pull you away from purpose and it's to pull you deeper into sin and bondage with them. You see, there's a strong delusion that's going on, man. I've done a video about this and this is what is happening. God has sent people a very strong delusion. That's why you see everywhere you look right now, we see recce here, crystal shop there, witchcraft store here, this. And, and people think they're good witches. People are convinced that they're healing the plant. People are so, so deceived. They're living a purposeless life, purposeless spirituality, okay? The infatuation, the infatuation that they want you to begin to have is a serious, serious topic I want to talk about. They want you to become infatuated with their spirituality, their walks, right? A lot of these people, these woke people, see a relationship in the Bible, the Word of God 
being the absolute truth. There's no interpreting this way and doing it that way. They see all this stuff, how cut and dry the Bible really is, as boring, right? It doesn't do it for them. It doesn't feed their flesh. It actually kills their flesh. It challenges their flesh. This is why a lot of people don't walk with the Most High God. Walking with Christ is not easy, man. You got to kill your flesh every single day, and we all fall short of the glory of God. But you see, these spiritual folks, these purposeless spirituality, these people who are all involved, they have some truth even. A lot of New Agers and stuff, man, they're very educated, but they're missing the one thing that matters the most, which is your walk with Christ, not needing to access things and do this and do that to access the spirit realm. It's to pull you deeper into sin, and they want you to become infatuated with demonic things that they feel are harmless, right? They can feel like this stuff is harmless, like, you know, an evil eye is harmless. Crystals, chakras, all these things, man, they're demonic gateways and portals and doors into things that you want no part of. That's why you see these people a lot of the times, man, they put on a happy face, they feel, you know, they give off these uh, high vibes and stuff, but inside they're dying. Inside they are empty. They don't have, the void has not been filled with the love of God. They're living a purposeless life, right? And whether you realize it or not, the demons that are placed on these people, a lot of people that get sent your way, chosen one, carry some demons due to the doors they have open in their life. And these demons are on assignment using this vessel to sever you, if they can, right? It's to sever you from the Father. It's not possible for the chosen. I've been um, told and convinced this. I really believe this. This doesn't mean we go around abusing God's grace and we do all the wrong things and live a life of sin. No, but these demons want to sever your connection with Christ, you know, and the more that you serve sin, you become an enemy of God. And th these demons know that. Right. Whether these people come at you from a place of love, a lot of these new agers and a lot of these, you know, white Wicca witches and all these stuff, they're all about love and love. It's just a love, 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 pleasure, 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 self, self, self. There's no rule book. There's no challenging the flesh. Right. This is what these demons are doing. They're accessing them to use them so they can try to get you into sin, because when you are living a life of sin, not living a repentant lifestyle, you become an enemy of the most high God. They envy your heart. I talk about the heart a lot. I'm going to continue to talk about the heart. A lot of chosen have a pure heart, man. You know, and these these people see that about you. You know, they envy the, the, the love you actually do have, the purpose, right? They can see that you don't have that void because it's been fulfilled through answering your call in Christ, getting in relationship with Christ, understanding what Christ is and who he is and what he's done for us already, right? You know, they want to be loved, but they don't even know how to accept love. A lot of these people, a lot of these people exuberate love on the outside and all this stuff, man. But they're secretly, they're being tormented inside. Secretly, when they go home at night, they feel empty. They got to continuously try to feed their flesh, right? Fill these voids in their life constantly with this, with that. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to build this altar. I got to work with these crystals. I got to do this and I got to, and it's a purposeless thing, right? And it constantly just keeps you going deeper and deeper and you're seeking, you're searching for that one thing that's going to fill the void, right? Your ultimate purpose, but they don't understand that that's found in Christ and Christ alone, man. So be careful with these people who are being accessed. Plant your seeds where you where you can, but don't let their demons try to attach themselves and convince you that there's a better way outside of the most high God, his word, his truth, and walking with him. A lot of people don't like God in the Bible because it hurts their feelings. A lot of people don't like the word of God because it challenges their flesh. It's a hard thing to do. A lot of stuff that's being promoted is 90% truth. And the biggest deception is pleasure. Oh, just live a life of pleasure. It's all about yourself. Pleasure, pleasure. You know, keep going deeper and find your purpose. And all of this stuff is deception, man. You know, and they hate a Christian who's uptight. They don't like a, a staunch Christian, right? They call us the bigots. They call us this. They call us that. Because they're so accustomed to pleasure being um, something that is a good thing, right? We've been lied to on a, on a massive scale by a society that pleasure is okay. The lust of the flesh. The word of God is clear, man. So they hate a Christian who's uptight. They want to kind of get a crack. However, they, they want to crack your house, get a crack in your house, right? So they can, you know come in, Satan can come in and start to destroy things. It's not easy to deny yourself every day. It's not easy to crucify your flesh. It's not easy to accept the word of God when you're first coming into your walk with Christ, but it's a must. You know, there's a lot of paganism that's going on as well. You as the chosen one can see through this because of the gifts you've been given, the knowledge, the wisdom, all praises and honor and glory due to the most high. You know, there's a lot of traditions of man, 
that try to get pushed on you. Why? So the Deuteronomy curses can become your portions because you are carrying forth paganism and traditions that, you know, ultimately date back to false God worship, idol worship, all these things. So they want you to get involved in this stuff. They'll call you the uptight Christian. Why are you so, why, why are you, all of these things, man? And these people are being used and they don't like you when you can't be manipulated anymore. That's when the real war is going to begin, chosen one. When the devil knows he can't get to you anymore, when he knows that God has elevated you and educated you through your relationship with him, through reading his word, through praying, through fasting, when he knows he can't manipulate you anymore, that's when he's going to send in people. That's when he's going to begin to attack your mind. You know, he knows that we can't be deceived. Even the very elect will be deceived if it were possible. That's a scripture. And I don't know what Bible verse that is exactly, but that is a scripture in the word. In the last days, Satan's going to deceive the very elect. And if you are chosen, you are called and you answer that call, you are that elect. You know, they want you to come into agreement with things so they can curse you. These demons know that they have to have a doorway. They have to have a foothold in your life. You hold the keys as a believer in God. You know, you have authority through his blood and what he did on that cross. They don't want you to know that, though. So this is why they get upset at you when you reject their crystals and their altars and their witchcraft or you reject paganism or you don't want to participate in holidays because these demons know that that's the foot that they can get in the door with you if you allow it. Right. And that begins to put curses over you, man. Yes, the Deuteronomy curses are real. There's Deuteronomy curses and blessings. Go read Deuteronomy if you haven't. I'm still reading it myself and learning. You know, a lot of this stuff is rooted in idol worship. A lot of what we see is idol worship, man. It's false God worship. It's demonic spirits. But it looks like love and light. It looks like, oh, wow, yeah, this is the truth. But in reality, you're empty inside. In reality, you're being tormented. In reality, all these things are going on behind the scenes and you can't understand why. It's because God is the only thing that can fill that void. The relationship with him, man. The true word of God. You know, and I'm here to help educate because my people perish for a lack of knowledge. A lot of new agers, man, a lot of witches, even sidekick mediums, all these people, they're being called by God and Satan is deceiving them. Satan is deceiving you. If you are in new age and you do tarot and crystals, but you still say God and Jesus, no, you're being deceived. You're in deception, right? The devil has a foot you know, a foothold on you, a stronghold on you. He, he, he found a crack in and now you're being deceived and pulled away, pulled away. All you truly need is a relationship with God. And it might not be the same lifestyle. It might not be fun and extravagant. You might not have adrenaline rushes and dopamine going throughout you. Why? Because the Bible calls us to crucify our flesh daily. This is why a lot of people reject God. It's a boring lifestyle, right? Oh, we don't, we, there's no fun in this. There's no adrenaline. You know, the word of God calls us to deny ourselves, pick up our cross, right, for him and walk after him in his ways for his purpose. You have to lose your life for Christ in order to gain it, right? You have to die to yourself daily. When you tell people this stuff who all they know is pleasure, all they know is this and that, and they're trying to fill a void and they don't understand completely, they may attack you. Their demons may attack you. You know, you may get slandered. You may get looked at as the uptight, boring Christian. All you need in this life is... Christ, man, I'm trying to tell you, and I know I deliver my messages pretty harshly, but it is what it is, you know, not everybody's going to be for me, just like I'm not for everybody, you know, I'm just, and, and it just is what it is, I'm here to speak the truth, man, if you're in new age, if you're in, you know, you have crystals still, or you have all these things, I pray that, you know, this kind of ministers to you, and God opens your eyes through the Holy Spirit, through a supernatural encounter with him, you know, call out to him, cry out to him and say, God, I want this void that I'm feeling in my chest. I'm constantly seeking. I'm constantly having to go deeper and deeper into these things. And I'm always, you know, feeling depressed. I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling lost, you know, and, and I thought this is what I was supposed to do. I was convinced, whatever it is, just cry out to him, you know, don't feel like you can't because you participated in certain things either. He loves you know, anybody that cries out to him, man, he loves you. He has grace and mercy. If you, if you seek his face, if you repent of your sins and turn away from those things, don't be lost in deception out here, man. And a lot of you chosen ones who already know this stuff, these are going to be some of your biggest enemies at times. You know, especially those who are just completely being used by the devil. They have many doorways open in their life. Those are the people that are going to attack you the most because you're challenging their reality. A lot of these people have businesses built on this stuff, man. 
Reiki healing, you know, um, massage therapy, psychic readings, mediums. This is why they hate the righteous too, because they know that we have gifts that are of the most high. A lot of our gifts are stronger than theirs are. There's nothing stronger than Jesus, man. There's nothing stronger than the Holy Spirit. Excuse my voice. Nothing stronger than a, a personal relationship, a spiritual walk with Christ. There's nothing like it. And a lot of these people who have demonic gifts, who may be aware of what it is or unaware, familiar spirits, demons whispering, demons giving them gifts and stuff. Because yes, you better believe demons will bless you. Right? They know who the righteous are and we are a threat. We are a threat just by how we are living, what we are speaking. The word of God irritates, pisses people off. It always has, it always will. It even can get me at times, right? It gets all of us because we are called to deny our flesh. We are called to do the things that are hard, right? We are called to not have pleasure in our life outside of Christ. We can have joy and we can have all these things, but not do the sin, not do the fleshly things. So, you know, just be, be aware, be alert, man. Know what time it is. There's a lot of deception going on, you know, and if you, if you feel led to help somebody out of this and they don't receive you and they constantly want to challenge and, and try to tell you, oh, that's not the truth. This is the truth. And, you know, you do what you can. You plant your seeds. That's why I do this channel. And you wipe your feet and you keep it pushing, man. Don't cast your pearls before swine. If they don't receive you, that's fine. They didn't receive Jesus. Only 12 walked after him, you know, and we are in the last days. We are called to save souls, plant seeds and do all we can for Christ. So do it in your own unique way, man. Be encouraged. Don't let these people knock you out of um, what God has you doing because they are living a purposeless, right? They feel like they have no purpose. There's a void that has not been filled by the most high yet. I love each and every one of you guys, man. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you share this on all platforms too. Let's spread this, man. People need to know this because this is one area that a lot of people are lost in more than ever. Everyone's a spiritual person nowadays, man. You know, everybody, literally everybody. You know, say a prayer for your brothers out there. Say a prayer for your sisters. Say a prayer for yourself. And you guys already know what it is, man. I'll be back with more. 2024, we're coming crazy with it. It's going to be awesome. God's going to do beautiful, beautiful things. So I want you guys to stick around for it. I love y'all, man. Till next time.